Good morning, children. Good morning, Indigo Group. Good morning, uh, Blush Group. And good morning to all the children that are at home. Oh, hang on, and I've forgotten the cornflowers. I'm very sorry. And good morning to all of those children that are at home. Right, let me see if I can find somewhere where I've got enough space here to show you some phonics. Okay, so today what we're going to do for our recap is we are going to look at this sound that you learnt in reception. So everybody should know that sound. What does it say? Yay. Ooh, ooh, it makes the ooh sound. Well done. So in year one, we have learnt ah. Oh, sorry, I was just checking that Miss Wilkinson was here and she was. Um, in year one, we've learnt a new way to say this sound. Who can tell me how to spell? The new way that we learnt for the ooh sound. Tell your teachers in your group or tell your grown-ups at home. Yeah. The new way to whoops to spell the ooh sound. Yeah. No, not for the ooh sound. Does anybody else in my class have a go at the ooh sound? It's a tricky one. This is the one that we always forget. Um, okay, so an E and a W also make the OO sound. Like the bird flew to its nest. Flew, oo, flew, oo. And it does occur to me that I've just left one of my sounds in my bag, which I'm just going to find for you. Who can tell their teacher the other way to make the OO sound that we have learned in year one? Oh, I'm hearing a, a, a silence, an absolute silence in my group. Um, does anybody know? Pippa? Oh, nearly, nearly, nearly. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is the other sound. Okay. So these are tricky sounds and we do get them mixed up quite a lot, don't we? So these are the two sounds that we seem to struggle with the most for our oo sounds. So they both make the oo sound like the oo, the blue bird flew to its nest, oo. So both of these sounds make the oo sound, okay? We've learned another way with a split digraph to make the ooh sound. Tell your grown-ups or uh, how to make the split digraph version of the ooh sound, please. Anybody? How do we write the split digraph? Oh my goodness me. Right, it is a U with a sneaky consonant in between and the E sound at the end. The U with the consonant in the middle and the E sound. So in a word like rule, the Queen will rule the country. R -u -l. And these two that work together. Okay. Now, just last week, we learned another way to write the oo sound in a word like you. So let me write the word for you. If I write the word you on my board, can you tell your grown-ups which letters make the oo sound in the word you? So we've got the uh, y at the beginning, y, u. So these two, you're right, well done Pippa. So the o and the u together sometimes make an oo sound, not always an ow sound. So that's another way of spelling the oo sound. So already, even though we're only five or six years old, we've learnt one, two, three, four, and five ways of making the oo sound in English. 
this is why we always say English is a very funny language. Okay, so that's five different ways of making the ooh sound. So when you're sounding out when you're reading, if you try one and it doesn't work, try the other one. Okay, today, now we've done our recap, we are going to, um, we are going to look at this sound. Ah, now some of my children are saying this says ch, 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 and it does say ch when we learnt it in reception. Most of the time it says ch. What did we learn yesterday, my gang? We did, we learnt that sometimes it makes the k, k, k sound in a word like school, school. It makes the k, k, k sound. Well done. But guess what? English is a very funny language. So sometimes when we have been a bit sneaky in English and we have borrowed some words from another language. So when we borrow some words from French, it makes a shh sound. So it doesn't look like a shh, but sometimes it makes a shh sound. So if you try ch and you think, oh, that doesn't sound like a word, try the shh. So sometimes it says ch, sometimes it says k, and sometimes it says shh. So let's have a look at some words that say shh. So let, apart from the fact that my words have jumped off my lap and I don't know where they've gone. Right, just wait a minute, bear with me children. Miss Wilkinson, oh, do you know what? They've jumped off my lap and into my drawer. I hope you're all enjoying this very professional phonics lesson. Okay, so here we have a cheeky word that we have borrowed from French. And so we're going to say the sh sound. Sh, eh, sh, eh, chef. Right, does anybody know what a chef is? Tell your grown up what a chef is. Does anybody here know what a chef is? Uh, Eva, what's a chef? Yes, it's a person who cooks. So a chef is the person who cooks meals in a cafe or a restaurant. Well done. So it, it is chef, chef. Well done. Okay, some of you might recognize now this, again, here look, has a capital letter at the beginning. So it is somebody's name. So let's sound out this one together. Shh, ah, uh, uh, No, that's all part of the same one because it's a French word. So that just, that sound at the end just makes a t sound on its own. So let's sound it out again. Shh, ah, uh, uh, Shh, ah, uh, uh, Sh Charlotte. Does anybody know somebody called Charlotte? You might have an Auntie Charlotte, or you might have a friend or a cousin of somebody called Charlotte, but it's a French name originally. That's why it makes the shh sound for the CH. Charlotte. Charlotte. Okay, here is quite a long one. Get ready to sound this one out. So we have mm, oh, ah, sh. Moustache. Excellent. Moustache. We say moustache, but really it's a French word and the French say moustache. So that's why it's got that um, O-U sound there. So the word is, I can't work out the camera today. So the word is moustache. Moustache. My daddy grew a moustache. Moustache. And here is a, another word, uh, our last one. You might see this one uh, in your writing, in your reading quite a lot. So let's sound it out. M -a -sh -in. Machine. Machine. Now that one is quite a useful word. You might see that a lot when you're reading. So machine, machine. It's not machine, it's machine, machine. So. Okay, so it could be a washing machine, a flying machine, a machine to chop up your pasta, all sorts of machines that we might use. Okay, 
let's have a go at our writing now the writing is quite tricky get your whiteboard and your pen or your piece of paper and a pen if you are at home and we are going to write the word get ready parachute so when we're going to sound it out listen p a r a sh u t parachute p a r a sh u t parachute so miss father's top tips para easy sounding out sh our new spelling of the sh sound and then the oo sound is our split digraph. So parachute, the oo sound at the end is the split digraph. Have a go. P a r a sh u t. Seven sounds. Seven sounds in that word. Have a go. Sound it out. P a r a sh u t. Parachute. Okay, I am just going to turn around and have a look at. Oh, I seem to have gone. I'm going to turn around and have a look. I've vanished. I'm not sure what's happened. I don't know if anyone else. I seem to have frozen on my screen. Oh no, I'm back again. Okay, so I'm just going to turn around and look at my gang and see what they've done and see if I can see if they've had a good go. Let's have a look at, ooh, remember it's the split digraph for ooh, the split digraph for ooh. Perfect, excellent, well done. I've got the wrong glasses on to see further, but Miss Wilkinson will look at yours. Uh, Evelyn, that is perfect, well done. Excellent, so everyone has been working really hard in my group. Uh, your next word is a bit shorter, should be easier. Remember that we are doing the sh, our new spelling of the sh sound. Can you write the word chef? Chef, chef, chef. Okay, have we all written that? Let us have a go. Um, at our words. I can't work out how to do this. Okay, so let's have a look at the word parachute. If you didn't get it right, don't worry, just fix it and make it look like mine. So have a look. P -a -r -a para Oot. Did you get your sound buttons in the right place? Parachute. Parachute. Uh, give yourself a tick if you got that right. If you didn't, just fix it and make it look like mine. Parachute. Parachute. This is, it will be very good for uh, the cornflower group, for Miss Sturk's group, because you have been doing some French words, I think, for your morning work, haven't you? So parachute, or parachute, as we say in English. And let's have a look at this one. Should have been a bit easier. We should have sh, e, f, chef. Now, usually in English, that word would have a double F at the end because it's after the F sound. But because we've pinched it from French, it doesn't. It just has one F. So chef, chef. So hopefully you got that right. Give yourself a tick if you got it right. If you didn't, just fix it and put the sound buttons in the correct place. Okay, parachute and chef. Okay, fantastic. We're going to do now some reading. So, I can't, I can't get this right. Okay, so I have underlined the only keyword in there. It's one of the first ones you learnt in reception, so that is an easy one. So let's have a look and we can sound this out together. Oh. <laughs> the m a sh in machine. The machine makes a 
big n oi so what does it say the machine makes a big noise the machine makes a big noise good reading okay now over to you because it is time to do our writing so i want you to write me the sentence the chef will mix the cake the chef will mix the cake the chef will mix the cake see if you can have a go the chef will mix the cake remember you need a capital letter at the beginning of your sentence and what do you need at the end of your sentence a full stop good good work my gang see if you can make sure that your tall letters are tall and your short letters are short the chef will mix the cake the chef will mix the cake i'm just going to turn around and see how my gang are doing let's have a look has anybody had a go yet the chef will mix the cake Oh, Lila's doing very well down there. Excellent. The chef will mix the cake. Oh, that is nearly perfect. Okay, in the word cake, we have the split digraph and it starts with a C, but the other k, k, k sound is made by a K. So the word cake starts with a C and it has a K in the middle. That's Miss Father's top tip for the word cake. Starts with a C and has a K in the middle. The words uh, are, the chef will mix the cake. Have we all finished? Let's see if we can look at our sentence. Okay, so here we have our sentence and we have two words that we can't sound out and they're both the same word so i hope that you have put your capital letter for the beginning of the sentence so our sh sound is made with our digraph of c and h that we have learnt today so the chef will so we have a double L because it's followed by a short vowel. So we have W, I, L. And we see that word a lot, so you should know that that has double L. The chef will mix the k ache. That's the other word that is a little bit tricky. So it starts with a C, it has the split digraph to make the A sound, and it has a K in the middle. The chef will mix the cake doesn't matter if you didn't get it right give yourself an enormous tick and probably a star if you manage to get all that right because that is quite quite a tricky sentence but if you didn't get it right it's fine just take a look really closely and see if you can fix the bits get your sound buttons right and then we will have the chef will mix the cake the chef will mix the cake okay really good phonics today children well done um we're doing some quite tricky sounds now but that is because you're in year one and you're doing so well with your phonics all of the teachers are really proud with how much effort you're putting in with your phonics so well done so you can give yourselves a clap well done because we did another really tricky sound today that isn't even an english sound we pinched a sound from French. So well done for that. And we will see you again on Monday. Bye.